So today we'll demonstrate on how to boost this um, Lexus RX 450 hybrid. Uh, it's a 2010 model. Uh, they go up to 2015. I believe they're all in the same location, which is in the trunk. In case your battery goes dead or you need to have it replaced, you need to have it boosted or um, you forget something on and overnight and it drained it and now you want to get access to boost the vehicle. So we'll just demonstrate what happens when the battery is dead. In this case, the battery is fully charged. It's not dead. So I'm just doing a demonstration. Uh, I'll be using the key as well um, because of most likely you won't have a screwdriver or anything to pop the clips open to get access to the panel in the back or in the front. So let's get it started. I'll remove the key. So, we got the key out, the side key. Take the key, you go in the front door, and you wanna put it in the door, unlock the doors, open it. So we're pretending like the battery is dead. Once you open the door, obviously you look for the hood latch release. And you go all the way to the front of the vehicle there's a little knob thing push up and the hood opens there you go once the hood is open you have this panel cover here the fuse box where you can get access to it it's located underneath this cover here however uh, some models will have the factory clips just like this or some models will have the clips that were installed after at a dealership or another place so as you can see some of them are from factory those are just pushing clips so push and it's been released with these guys over here uh, i'm going to be using the key uh, it's got a little slot right at the end here i'll be using that just to demonstrate because most likely you won't have anything or unless you have a screwdriver you can pry on it but I uh, will be demonstrating here. I'll push that in and then I'll kind of lift that. So once it lifts up, pull on it. And just put that on the side here. Same thing with that clip. I'm just trying to do this with one hand, which is not easy. There you go, pop. Nope. The head came off, it's no big deal. You can always pry on it after the fact. So this comes out no problem. So once this is off, now we could do is a little wiggle, wiggle. The clip will come off, take it out, put it on the side. Same with this guy, wiggle, it will come out. There you go. In this case, it just falls. I'll pick it up. I'll just keep it all together here. So, once all the clips are off, you remove the cover. There's going to be a little notch here where the cover will go back in. The cover has a little plastic tab that will go in first, and then you can put the clips back in. But in this case, we'll just remove it right now. Put on the side. And... Uh, this is already open, but it's not supposed to be. However, this is where the fuse box would be located. If let's say it was closed and clipped in, this is how it would look. You have a little tab here. You push the tab and open it, like just pull up the cover on the side. Once you pull up the cover, you could see the positive terminal on here. Pull on it. Now you can put your positive on here to just give it a little bit of juice to give it enough power to open the trunk. So you put your positive here, you can use your negative on this bolt, on that bolt here. Um, do not use it on this plastic bolt because it's not a ground. You want something to have a ground on it. So like a bolt like this here might work. The bolt, this plastic piece will not work. So anything like metal wise like this that the ground um, to give it just a bit of power it won't start the vehicle but it will give it enough power to op to allow it to open a trunk so once this happens you can either 
push the fob bat button on the trunk and open it once there's enough juice or you can go from the inside. So I'll do it like this. I'll hit the button. So now the uh, tailgate opens. So we're going in the back. Once the tailgate opened, we now need to get access to our battery. So this is the hatch area. I got a little cover. I'm just going to flip it over just like that. And then you have a little cover here with the handle. You lift this up because halfway you just leave it leaning there. There's where your battery is located. Same thing with these factory clips. This is a factory clip from Lexus and this one is not. So these ones will do the same thing. We'll use our little key to pry in it. Okay, so I'll pry on this here. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. But there you go. The clip is off. In this case, these are factory clips. You just push them in. Push them in. That's it. Now, what you could do is you could lift a little bit the side here and wiggle that until the clips come out once you wiggle this clips are off put your hand on the side here and you can lift the cover upwards just like that upwards once the cover comes off you now can see the battery the positive terminal the negative terminal and in this case, you push the vehicle, or in the case of you needed a replacement, there would be a 10 millimeter nut over there holding the battery hole down. You will have to remove that and put it on the side. I believe, yeah, you could just leave it on the side. You don't have to remove the whole bracket completely and put a new battery in it. Or there you go, you could boost it and you'll be on your way. Uh, I hope this is pretty straightforward. Um, Putting it back in is the same way. Just have this lined up properly. So lift this end up a little, let it slide in. That's good. It's sitting flush. This clip will go back in and push in. And these clips, they're already pushed in. So what we do is we push them back out by just pressing on it on a piece of plastic. And you push, but don't push it all the way just push it so it's flush once it stops flush that means it's clipped in if you went all the way down like this it means it's unclipped but if it's flush it means it's clipped in so just push it back in into the hole it's in push slow there you go and it's flush and there we go thanks for watching